Hello, my name is John, and you're watching the Total NASL Show. Eleven signed midfielder Zach Steinberger on loan from the Houston Dynamo, and we asked Indy Eleven supporters and supporters of the NASL uh, about what does he bring to the club, and we got some comments from our followers and followers of Indy Eleven, and our own Michael Carney, our beat writer for Total NASL, had this to say about the signing. He said, "One, it shows how deep the quality of talent at youth." college and pros for players from Indiana is. Two, adds depth to midfield position. Helps having an additional player to back up Maris. Yes, depth is great going forward in the fall season. Uh, if players do go down with an injury or suspension, you do have this new signing to help you out in the season. Three, helps attract Butler fans to the game. Signings always do help attract uh, fans to the club. Four, it shows how serious the team is about pushing for a player spot, buyers and not sellers. And that's a very important point that Michael Carney does make is that the team is not is buyers, not sellers, meaning uh, that they are not selling their players for cash or for uh, other resources, but they are out there buying players or making moves to potentially get a playoff spot. And that's a big a thing for Indy 11. At Indy Till I Die, which is a great username, the added depth in the midfield is good. However, our strikers haven't been in the best form. We need more firepower. We need more firepower there. Again, another great point, and hopefully Indy 11 does make a change here, is hopefully they do add some more striker, striker power or strikers to that position as he said that the strikers haven't been in the best form and the added depth in the midfield is great and as we see that with the Cosmos is there is depth and it plays a great part going into the season is that uh, if one player goes down or whoever retires or whatever it may be the case there's always the player to, to step up and take that player's spot and competition is key especially with depth is that competition always takes place going forward. Some clubs do some important things throughout the week, training, uh, players rehabbing from injuries, training for the upcoming opponent that upcoming weekend. But the Cosmos, they met with PSG. And if you don't know who PSG is, PSG is one of the biggest clubs in the world, has some star players, Zaltin Ibrahimovic, Edison Cavani, Diago Silva, Diego Luis, some of the top players in the world, and they do play in Paris. And they did come to New York, one of the stops that they made in the International Champions Cup. And the Cosmos did meet up with PSG earlier this month. They did meet up with them, and the Cosmos released a video behind the scenes, and we're going to play that for you right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to New York City and Central Park. This is Danny here from the New York Cosmos. And God, I can't remember that last line. I can't wait to show you some of the best the city has to offer. Guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? Danny, yeah. welcome to New York, Central you. Park. You know, you guys, thank you for coming out. You know, see a little bit of uh, what New York has to offer. Hope you guys have a good time and, and want to come back. So. Thank you very much. PSG's in town for, for preseason in, in New York. and. Uh, you know, I invited them out to come out to Central Park and, and check it out a little bit. You know, this place is where, you know, you just come out, you relax, you know, you play different games. Everyone's doing something, either playing soccer, American football. You know, it's just it's a place where you can just relax and, and have a good time and enjoy the view and, and you know, meet new people. Shea's English, you know, wasn't, wasn't the greatest. Polaco un poco de italiano. Not Francese? Italiano? No. no. Polacco? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Benjamin's was, was definitely better, you know, he, he played in uh, the Premier League, so it was easier to communicate with him because I don't know any French. With all the different cultures in, in New York, 
I love that different people like to tell you different stories about, about the sport of soccer. You know, I definitely love, uh, love New York. You know, there's, there's fans from, from all over the world. Growing up, I always watched, you know, PSG, AC Milan, Real Madrid. When you can meet players like that, you know, it's, it's always a great experience, you know. And, and being able to do that here in, in New York and, and show them the, the city a little bit is, is always fun. But this uh, meeting between Cosmos and PSG, hashtag PSG meets Cosmos, it's a big thing for Cosmos and for their supporters. Cosmos meeting PSG, this is the big thing moving forward because you got the biggest club or one of the biggest clubs in the world hanging out with the New York Cosmos, which uh, a lot of people and me personally think that this is, it's one of the biggest names and brands uh, in American soccer and worldwide as well. So both of these clubs collide, which is a big thing. Uh, just hanging out here, uh, just having fun talking and showing around New York City. But if you look at it from another point of view of maybe a sporting point of view, maybe this could be a deal or an agreement or partnership down the road where... Uh, they can hang out or it could be more than hanging out, maybe training together or trading talent or trading ideas. Maybe something with these two big clubs uh, hanging out together could mean a bit more down the line, which hopefully it does. Because for the NASL and for the Cosmos, this may be a big thing moving forward. So tell me what you guys think. Should the Cosmos and PSG potentially have an uh, agreement moving forward? Maybe a uh, partnership with talent or... Uh, with some resources. Also, is this signing for Indy 11, this midfielder from the Houston Dynamo, would he be uh, a great, a great player moving forward for the season? Also, would he, he provide great depth for the club? That is no question, but to you, what does he bring to the team? So leave that below in the comment section. Leave a like and please subscribe to the channel because once we move into our full-time studio, we will provide some great content. Right now, we are on the road. We are currently not looking for a home, but we are building our home right now. So that's why we are outside enjoying a sort of nice day out here. Uh, and we will have our studio built hopefully by next week. Uh, and we will be there probably hopefully the next time we see you. So peace out, everyone. My name is John Frishante tuning out. You can give us a follow at Total NASL. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. And we will talk about your comments on the show next time.